Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Good morning, Kitarathi. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> right, so I did the basic blocking for the colors on this one. It turned out pretty good, I think. Um, or as I at least I accept the level of of, of the block out. Hey, Diego, hi, welcome back. I'm fine, thank you, uh, Kilrathi. I'm all good. Um, so this is what the block out looks like. So he's digging out that, that heart of the, the, the alien. Um, thanks, Diego. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a doll. I wanted it to be uh, lifeless. Yeah, exactly. It's that that alien. Um, the, let me dig that alien out. That guy, not that particular guy, but that kind of alien uh, that's being uh, harvested. Um, so. Uh, Um, so the, what, what, what I, I'm, what I'm offering today, uh, to do, to deal with, um, is, um, I can do shadows on the, on the creature, but most likely won't, uh, be finished on time in 30 minutes, or I, uh, concept up. Uh, a new creature. Hey, how 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 we are though? Good morning. Hi, hi. <laughs> hey, good morning, Eric Mui. Well, nice to have you here. I'm thinking um, we got one, two, three villains, four villains sketched out. We got only two heroes sketched out. Yeah, so let's do a, a maybe a good guy, a dog alien. All right, cool, Kirathi. We're on the same page. Um, right, so the evil guy is there. We can we can have some uh, eye candy while while we sketch. Uh, let's put this guy over here, monster over there, and let's um, let's open up um, before I start. Let's see, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, three, four, five. The next good guy, right? So she's the huntress. Um, right. A counterpart to their agility. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so the huntress, she's the she's just one up of the main guy on the far right. Um, so let's start the timer and uh, let's start sketching. So a counterpart to the good good guys to the, their agility. So obviously some slugger, or you Kirathi said a dog alien. So okay, so let's go with uh, let's go with the dog. Let's hide that. Let's only show these two. Um, right, so a counterpart, a dog. How about. Hmm. Right, so it needs to be powerful but friendly. How about. Hmm. I was thinking like a flying, a flying mount. That's. You know that they are aerial, but would they need flying things then? Maybe not. They wouldn't. Maybe they wouldn't need. Maybe they are like riding them. But I mean, you don't want the rider because that that means they're not thinking, right? They're then they're they're just a tool, right? Like a horse. A horse you wouldn't necessarily assume is a great thinker or a com companion in that sense of. Um, 
being um, clever. So, but if we do some strong running dog ish thing, I'll simplify it. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right. Okay. This gave me an idea. Let's chase that to see where it comes out, where it, where it leads. Um, hey, Bob, thirty-six, thirty-six. That's really cool, Bob. Uh, that's awesome to hear. Uh, right. So what I saw here was um, like a ram of sorts, right? So it's it has horns forward, um, but it's going to be a standing character, so not a dog. Um, well, um, oh, there we go. That's the picture. Uh, but what I saw is like a, a strong guy, right? So he's the muscle, muscle of the of of them. So he's um, not sure. He he can't be the same species, right? He has to be different. So if if they are like part of the nature, right, of Earth, they're running around. And this guy, is he an ant? Is he a furry thing? I think maybe fur. We don't, we don't have a lot of fur on the heroes. They are very aquatic in the sense of, of how they are in the, like their skin, right? Hey, Art of Pear, you're back. Welcome back. Hey, Beer Bros, nice to have you here. So, spider, now we got too many spider-like um, archetypes going on with the bad guys. We can't really go the spider distance that, or direction, right? Because the, the heroes, they are agile, they're, they're aerial. Um, not sure really where, where I'm going with this, this sketch here, but we definitely need a muscle guy. Like a breacher. What if? Okay, breacher. Hmm. Like a heavy. What does he do? Why is he at a heavy? He's a, a forest thing. He's she. It is wizard. Combat wizard <laughs> in the space world uses plasma let's go with plasma is it weird maybe or is it machine I mean they have biotech right that's what's the idea they they have manufacturing so maybe plasma let's go with plasma hey Hick Choi welcome you're new Oh no, Art of Pear, that's that's horrible. Kilrathi, yeah, maybe. Hey, Ladsies. Um, nice loading. Or do you mean there's buffering? So, hmm. Yeah, I think you were in the by the ra raid, right, Hikchoi? But compared to the other people, I mean, they are uh, they are uh, regulars. So in that sense, you are new. Hey, what? Good morning. Good morning. Right. So I think I think we got a pretty good silhouette here. I'm not really sure what is happening in the silhouette. I'm seeing him or this creature as some sort of horned alien like a breacher like it it's power right it it melees itself into places or or against heavy other heavy things right they like the captain etc um, so at the moment it's all very vague um, don't really know in that sense of, of 
what is what and what kind of creature this is. Um, but um, I'm okay with that. I mean, uh, the, when we did the, the first main character, it was a very explore, exploratory uh, take. We uh, um, kind of just went with it and, and saw where it ended up. And I did redraw it later. And it did end up as an interesting concept, so I'm I'm quite confident in my abilities to uh, just kind of go with the flow and see see what what comes out as a concept. But um, I'm already kind of digging the the nature aspect or or like horns, uh, alien horns with negative space. Um, I think that'll that'll could be a cool look. And not really digging the what looks like a, a skull cap, um, but um, it it shouldn't have technology as in constructed technology or uh, like built technology. Uh, this is pretty sure, but it does need to be a hero character, right? It can't be just a a stupid um, thing that that they are using, right? It has to be a, a conscious character. So you, you need to make sure that it has a face, it, it, you, you relate to it, so it's not all just um, like evil looking or strong looking or, or, you know, it has to have complexity there. So I'm thinking about technology at the same time, what kind of thing is this and why is it? And, and, and those things I have yet to to uh, figure out. Hey, Hugh, welcome. Mean Machine, good morning. EOP, um, the Art Station Challenge is uh, the topic is beyond Earth, beyond human. What has happened uh, in the future, kind of. Um, So my, my, my idea is just like the human race has become uh, parasites. They are on the evolution, end of their evolutionary ladder. Uh, new life form, the aliens are, have taken over. And the humans as a, as a parasite are living off the aliens as a source of energy so that they can keep themselves alive so they don't die. Art of pair. That's true, art of pair. But I mean, he he Groot was quite clever, even though he was quite childish, right? So he he was he he only could say what, three words: "I am Groot." But he did show, you know, all these things. So so to some degree. Yes, you are right. I mean, this got character doesn't need to be the, the, the brains, right? So this can definitely be a brute. I'm looking at the Guardians of the Galaxy, this this uh, red wrestler guy, uh, whatever his name is, and I'm horrible with names. Uh, in the in the in that world, he's he's you know he he's not very clever either, but he's still uh, one of the heroes. Uh, so obviously, I mean, you you need some sort of in the face, it needs to look like it can think, right? It can't just be hidden in, in armor, or it can't be too vicious looking in the sense of how you relate to it, right? Uh, and, and, and certain things of how, how you maybe suggest, uh, you know, how, how is this creature armored up? Um, can suggest uh, the the level of, of intelligence. I mean, let's say <coughs> comparatively, like uh, Achilles in 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 movies, etc. He he has light armor, and his helmet usually is quite simple. Uh, and you know, we can see the eyes, we can see the mouth, we can see it's a thinker. And then you have like a medieval knight with just a slit. You know they don't necessarily feel intelligent, but in their move, in their actions, they, they can show intelligence. But in this instance, we are designing something that can't move, right? We can only suggest movement. So what we gotta do is just 
can I help out by by showcasing um, more things than than I mean, if we do armor him up, let's say like a medieval knight, that's fine as well. But then you gotta make sure that it comes across as a good guy or a thinker, and it's not just a brute. I mean, brutes are also good guys. Uh, that's true, but yeah, maybe he should be like a full-on brute. Um, EOP, it's up for it, it's up for. Um, whatever the person that does the challenge want to take it. A lot of people have gone post-apocalyptic, looking at the submissions threads. Um, not necessarily something I enjoy. Uh, it's a beaten... Um, it's a beaten to death genre. Uh, everyone and their... Uh, and their brother. Whoa, what's that? Why? Why? What's the, the peak of memory loss? Um, yeah, everyone want to do um, post-apocalyptic. It's boring. And the brother's mother. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, I. To go back on topic, uh, art of pair. I mean, Groot was. He's a good character, right? He is a hero. I kind of like it that his horns become transparent, even though that's an accident. Uh, that's a really cool, cool design. I really haven't seen like transparency or or whiter horns going out. I think I'll, I'll keep that. It's a cool. Cool, happy accident. Yeah, the, the transparency there, there's a was a good accident. So I'm thinking about how can one design something. Um, I'm thinking that can't manufacture armor, right? Because the aliens don't have machines. Uh, how about biological armor? It grows like um, corals almost. So it grows and, and creates this pattern, much like Groot, uh, when in, in towards the end, you know. I think that could be a cool one. Better make sure that he he doesn't look monstrous in his mouth. He needs to be have a, a mouth that can emote well. Usually heroes, you know, have a mouth that doesn't look like it it'll want to eat you. Mean Machine, yeah, there's lots of people. I think there's over a thousand people in the competition. Which is quite interesting. Uh, and there's, uh, it's like two weeks left, a little bit less than two weeks left of, of uh, doing um, uh, the, the deadline. So for this character, I have yet to figure out, like the, I mean, obviously he's a slugger, or what did I say, breacher, but maybe we could make him like a dog, so that Kilrathi is happy as well. How about, how about we give him an extra set of legs, that would be cool. Maybe. So we go a little bit more bulldog. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Feet in.
what would be cool if we don't do too much dog-like leg. Maybe it, he could just, nah. Is this something that looks interesting? I'm, I'm doubting the validity of it. Like, does it just feel like I'm grasping for straws, you know? Does it make sense that it's there? Hmm. Why the decision to make him, you know, like, what's the... So he's like a dog? Bulldog? Bulldog character? No belt, for sure. Could have. Mm. Armadillo. Yeah, I think if we if we key off the um, transparency horn, it could have like an armadillo-like behavior. I don't think he needs, I think I need to change it up a bit. He needs to, needs to be more uh, erect. So he feels more like, what's that, that, that boss character in, in uh, Mortal Kombat, Goro, is that the name? He needs to feel more thinker, less of a, of a dog. Yeah, EOP. Take your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Erect as in standing up. Homo, homo erectus, right? Standing ape. Yeah, definitely more of a gorilla stance. Let's plant one of the arms. So we got one floating arm. Hey, Slowborn Studio. Welcome. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. That's great. I'm very glad to have you here. And you got all 11 minutes left. It's awesome. So um, what I'm doing today is designing a new character, uh, one of the good guys, right? And he's kind of this gorilla type, heavy. Like he or she, at the moment it looks like a he. Um, it's like a um, melee type character, right? I, I was envisioning with some sort of discs, maybe some clear, organic, hard, like, um, that kind of nest that swallows create, you know, with spit. They have this weird, I mean, they could, could go again, like the, the horns are like half transparent, could do it with these, like, melee weapons he has. Um, Yeah, I kind of like it. Number one talent. Yeah, he could roll up as a ball. That's cool. That's 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 great. That's a good idea. Yeah, slow burst studio. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what a scratch is, uh, Mean Machine. Is that the... From... No, that's Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. 
uh, slow burn studios no not at all, uh, not at all really uh, usually what happens on the stream is that uh, you guys give me a topic and I draw it um, and now this morning uh, I'm doing a completely new character without any thought so the whole process so far has been kind of visually searching at the same time as as uh, as trying to figure out uh, with my mind <laughs> what what character do I need to do right uh, so it's a little been a little bit of like uh, trial and error and when if you go back and look back at the stream later you'll see that um, I've just been kind of throwing ideas around and the first five minutes just kind of redrawing lines and, and 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 trying to just have something down uh, on, on 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 paper and uh, and then taking it from there and letting the ideas come and you know you play around with the ideas of, of what what what's needed really. so I think the pose is okay it needs to be better everything is inside the silhouette um, All right. so let's change that up a bit we need to see the relationship of the planted arm and the torso and so that we get it that it's an arm right and uh, but he's resting and leaning on it so if he's leaning on it, means that we need to offset his balance. Um, so let's move that leg back a bit. And then let's... Uh, he can't be just standing with that leg. Make sense. It's better. It's better. But so line of action. Bob, uh, Bob, thirty-six, thirty-six. Uh, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, you're very, very free to do so. Usually, I get a lot of people asking if they can model in three D, and usually, it's, you know, it's all good um, as long as it's not copyrighted material and uh, that uh, you do uh, give me credit for the concept art on every, you know. Uh, along with the 3D, if there's a screenshot, the reference to me is, has to be provided, you know, like concept art by Bjorn. But other than that, just, you know, feel free. Up for grabs. Hey, Bazari. Welcome. Uh, Slow Burn Studios, yeah. It is. Uh, it's fun. Uh, the the you can use the power of of working digitally in this way, and uh, you know you can you can experiment a lot more. You can redraw. Um, you can use lean on on the fact that you can play around with technology in this way, where you can just redraw, 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 flip. Uh, use different portions, squish, stretch. Shape searching, especially that that this character doesn't exist, right? I'm I'm making him up uh, as I'm drawing now, like there's no blueprint. Of of what what this is right? It's completely new character that 
that I don't know really. I don't like the, the face region. It bugs me a lot. I've been looking at it and, and trying to figure out what to do with it. I don't want him to look too evil. I want his face to look interesting but protected. I don't want the sense of maybe I need to add more armor. I'm I th I'm thinking of this armadillo comment. Um, it it speaks to me. All right. So I think I don't want everything to be just one material. This this shiny uh, exoskeleton type, like the horns. But I think it's needed, and I think. What what is needed is something, some special blend of ideas that removes it from just being a armored thing, right? So it looks like it has a suit of armor. I want it to be organic. I want it to be living, but designed in a way where it's like organically grown on purpose. And that's that's the that's the. That's the tricky part, right? Hmm. Hey, level dead. <laughs> what a nickname. Welcome. Heart of a pair. Oh, you. Yeah, it's cheating. Oh, that's cool level then. Well, that's that's great of you to um, to finally find me. I stream every morning at the exact same time, so if you like what you're seeing, etc., and want to come hang out with me every morning, you're free to do so. And it's the same time every day, except weekends, of course, obviously. Um, so, okay, that kind of makes me kind of dig the the face a little bit more. Grumpy face. I'm unsure about the melee. Is this to, to use melee or use, you know, that these melee things, they're a little bit more assassin like. And that's at least what I associate with, with these kind of blades, right? Close, uh, CQC blades. So maybe I need to give him a hammer, something that he can smash with. How about we give him some sort of hammer, right? And then we can remove make this, right? Then we can give purpose to that lower hand because he's aiding the grip. So we, we got the grip like that. We, he has the grip like so. Yeah, I think that's 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 more interesting. So what is, is it just a massive hammer? Multi hammer? Flail? Mm. What's the purpose of this guy? Thank you very much. Level it. Yeah, uh, for all the new people, there's a Discord. Um, a two week challenge, ongoing two week challenge. Uh, this Saturday, I'm going to do paid overs for all the uh, participants of the two week challenge. And then there's a new challenge set. So if you want to be a part of a creative community or the beginnings of a creative community, I got some plans. Uh, please do join in. Uh, lots of cool people are on the Discord and, and it's quite a helpful community. So if you're up for, uh, for le uh, level-minded people that are, that are at different places in their career, do join in. It's a cool bunch of people there. Uh, is, is this the guy? I don't know. It's a starter list. 
Nah, that looks stupid. That looks stupid. That looks so stupid. Uh, axe, blade, slicer. I don't know. Time is up. I have to stop drawing. I'll just do one small change to the arm, and then I have to call it a day. One more small change that I need to call it a day. That's his hand. I don't know. It has to change to something. Uh, I will have to think about it. But, uh, right. Um, that's true, Kilrathi. You can't make hammers, then, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it, and, uh, and, and, and I'm going to have to revisit. I, I'm, I'm not sure about the, the massive thing, I, but I kind of like the character, so it, it, we're on to something here. Um, so thanks, everyone, for coming. Have a fantastic day. Good night. Uh, see you tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening, depending on where you are in the world um, at the same time. Uh, so have a great day. Uh, thanks for joining in. Thanks for hanging out. And um, see you tomorrow. Bye. Join the Discord and click follow.